Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to la, 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 Let's Play Devil May Cry 4 Ezio Altore Edition. Assassinate Venom and Hen Is he up there? Oh, he's up there. Alright, you cats just go ahead and keep fighting. I am going to do this number right here. And get around these guys. Dude, this is some assassination stuff, man. This is what makes a man a man. Like that one country song that I can't stand. You know, the only reason I don't like country music, ladies and gentlemen, is because I have to hear it every freaking time I go to work. And dude, this guy didn't even know what hit him. He is beyond help at this point. Ah, no, don't punch him! Oh, dang it, I, right then I could have just taken him out. Well, I, still got, I still got him on the first hit, but still, why would you punch him? Why don't you just assassinate his butt? What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? Jerk! Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto le fine che meritavi! Spero che prov... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Wow, that's heavy, dude. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when well, you the time. He's Our got a point. Here is finished. Let us return to the villa. It's a good idea. Back to the villa, baby. Look at all the money. I'm making that cheddar. Gonna make it rain in the strip club. Dude, what goes around freaking comes around. Dang straight, dude. Knife belt acquired. Dude, we are racking up freaking... Oh, is the animus breaking? Look at the moon. The moon! Like off the first uh, speakable me. What are we doing? I cannot move. There is... I can do this. This is all I can do. Uh-oh. Slow motion. Are we exiting the Animus? I think. I don't know. And if Trust doesn't press something to ask, blah, 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 blah. ladies and gentlemen, I am probably gonna play some zombies tonight. Um, well, no, I mean I want to play that Max game. To be quite honest with you, but really I want to get. Well, no, okay, I think what's gonna happen. This is exactly what's gonna happen. I'm going to go do what I need to do here. What I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is um that achievement. The one I'm thinking about, like, I'm only missing, like, two of the main achievements left in Assassin's Creed. One of them's, like, reach level 55 on multiplayer. Yo, what's up, cuz? And the other one's, like, the social... I, dude, why am I doing that? I just freaking do this right... Just do this right now. What the heck? Why am I bouncing around? See, ah, 50-50, baby. Anyway, Black Flag. Here we go. Yes. Multiplayer. I, that's back when I was playing with K-Woods and stuff. See, these are the last two I'm missing, I think. Or maybe there's one more. I don't know, multiplayer. But anyway, the one I'm missing that's not, uh, that is each type of discovery with friends once. That is, uh, like things pop up on the, uh, the ocean when you're, like, sailing. Like, there's, like, a chest, there's, like, a royal convoy, and there's, a, a, a like, a whale that you need to kill. Or something like that. And it pops up and you gotta share each of them once. So, Yeah. I'm trying to do that. I'll probably wait for the Let's Play to do that, you know, because the Let's Play is going to be crazy, dude. Yeah! Yeah! See. Good. The feathers are going to show up on the map. You can drink all day. Dude, I'm down. With whores. What? It's true. <laughs> yeah! Whores and court they're courtesans, man. They're women of the night. That's that's my favorite one of the women of the night. I dig that. Learn about the villa, discover the codex page, it's hidden there. There's there's hidden here. Oh. oh, he must die. Then he really must die. Death Which will come to him. him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. It does. You're right. Well, let's not give him that pleasure. Yes. Deal. And so but begins the rest of the game. Where will you go next? Yo, mama's house. Oh, that'd be my grandmother. Oh. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. 
A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. Well, All right. who doesn't, That's right? That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I just need to know what whatever we're just to do on this mission, man. Read the letter my uncle gave me. Yes, where is that letter? Where is that letter? I need to read the letter, please. Why would you put the letter here, letter here when you could just keep it on your person? Oh, oh, I see. Never mind. What's up, dude? How you doing? Look familiar? No. I got a codex pages. Oh yes. yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few of them for he. Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci. A friend. He's a cool cat too. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? No. There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. Ah! He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Well. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, we got here a bunch of decodings to do. We'll add it to the wall. Dang, dude. So I now, dude, I have to go to the freaking the viewpoint. Why are we going to the viewpoint? Why can't Leonardo just come to me? What? Okay, seriously, Leonardo, just move in with me, dude. Like I have a villa. We got some extra rooms. You can take the shack at the corner. I don't know. What's that sound? What's that sound? I hear, I hear something. I hear. I've already synced this thing up, dude. I've already synced this place up. Why are we doing it again? Ah, como te llamas, señor? Whatever. Oh, is there a codex page? There is a codex. Collect the four philosophical codex pages. There is one more. There is many. Well, there's codex pages here and you didn't tell me? The f What? The fates are here and you didn't tell me? Oh, we are worms. Worthless worms. There's another c c c c codex page. Speaking of codex, man. They, um, I really liked Vork. Vork was my favorite. I thought he was funny, dude. And whenever, like, Blades came over and was like, uh, I've got some cards. I'll give you the internet back when, if, after we play. But before, like, that happened, the internet shut down while he was on it. And he's, he's, he's like, Blades! <laughs> the funniest thing, dude. I am so glad. Like, I seriously, I watched that. I, I was there when it came out. You know, well, I wasn't there, you know what I mean? But I was, I was there. I was aware of it when it came out, you know? It was good stuff. Good stuff. Kind of like iZombie, you know? I'm aware of it, too. So I'm assuming these things are in the four corners. I don't really know of the map. Oh, it's looking like this one's not. Where's the last one? Where? Wh why would they put it? Why, why would they put it out there? What purpose? Like, I mean, dude, like, I know you're trying to keep this from the Templars, but come on, man, I'm an assassin! Why you make me go through these hoops, man? Oh, you do enough! But then go, what? Que pasa, brother? <sighs> Fine. I'll run a horse. I'll jump on a horse, and the horse will take me to the Codex page. Horsey, I need you to smell out the codex page. Okay, Master it's a girl. That's what I think a horse sounds like. Okay, I'll do it. Ka clop, ka clop, ka clop. My God, I don't know, dude. Sometimes my mind just makes noises and my mouth just has to pronounce them. Are we there yet? Yes, we're there. We made. Wow. Oh, this this is kind of a cool place, dude. Whoa! My horse just about exploded. I think the horse found a tangent. Didn't know how to deal with it. Oh, a black. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. What was that? One horse flicker? Is that it? Flicker! What's up, man? How you doing? He's like, what's up, man? See, this is what this horse would sound like. What's up, Ezio? Just waited for you my whole life, and now you're here. Well, dude, I'm happy to be here. You're right. Let's ride. Claudia. Fellow to Claudia. Ladies and gentlemen, I think they we're just learning how to, uh, 
use the villa because we're going to start being able to upgrade it soon i think because we're just about in charge man just that just just do you remember like a couple episodes ago we didn't have a home and like we were on the road and now we own we're about to own a villa we're not really own it but we're really going to make some modifications to it. like it's family owned yeah but still you know you know you know what i'm trying to say stop it you know what i'm trying to say it's quit hello to claudia Come on, you're going to be hearing that a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Or I may just do it off screen, I don't know. Because the thing is, the more money you put into the town, the more money you get back. You know, get your money for nothing and your chicks for free, man. That's what I'm doing right here. Salute, Claudia. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What are you talking about? He's a cool cat. He's making me work. <laughs> if father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. Oh, God. Did you have to lift up about 15,000 best choice Since three liters today? No, you didn't. We're going to stay here. Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. Ah. I, I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. But, see, man, benissimo is such a big word just to say fine. In this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. Like women? If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. Ah. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. What? Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Slut! That's not a deal! Alright, so here we go. Now we can upgrade stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. Um, shops. Okay. Okay, this is giving you a list of stuff. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I got it, yeah, okay. But now this is where you actually upgrade it. This is the architect of the city. He's a cool cat, bro. Talk to him! Buongiorno. There we go. There's something wrong. Yeah. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Architetto. Uh, money, I can't fix any of these buildings. Well, I'll give you money then. If someone brought you money, then we'd be in business. Well, heck yeah. Uh, you must be Serezio. See. Si. right? Yes. Uncle, How do I nod? I like this architecto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. Who is talking? Town, I'm hearing voices. Place. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. Well, if I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. Oh. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. I'll tell you what we will do, man. I'll tell you what we do. We put a freaking woman of the night place here, and then we end business. Very important to your great great grandfather. Great great grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, shut up. Increasing the number of people who visit. God. Your income to increase. So, women. That's what it's all about. That is the first thing that's gonna happen. Brothel. Three thousand. There. Finally, it feels like home to me. I finally own a brothel. Okay. Like, we need to open up the church, though. I ironically, <laughs> the brothel is right across the street from the church. But we need to open that because there's actually stuff in there. Uh, military badges. Increase the city's value. Oh, uh, okay. Let's... Oh, Thieves Guild. Okay. I don't want to increase the city's value. I want to put a bank in for 1500 That would be great. Let's just let's just get let's try to get one of everything in here and then we'll make it better. Art merchant, ladies and gentlemen, art merchant. You can buy you buy paintings and what happens is it goes into the city and it makes more money for you, if that makes sense. I think that's what happens. Blacksmith, blacksmith, baby, seven thousand. Oh, no, not no, we're not doing level two. We've already got a blacksmith. Okay, get a tailor. Tailor. Oh my gosh, can I be can I be the the band stylist and set? Of course you can, fancy pants. Okay, now let's see the mines. I'd like to do all these, but we do not have enough. But we didn't. Uh, the the mine. Ah, I got to do the mines. Do them just as long as that brothel got bought. I might as well just do it. This is a mission, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't a joke. This is really a mission. Uh, military barracks. Oh, I can, I can I almost go. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get the military barracks and the thieves guild, and then that'll be it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've got this place up and running, it's just a waiting game for money now, which is been very muy been there. <laughs> You know, what have ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? Buon viaggio! So, buon viaggio, my friend! This city is now on its feet thanks to Ezio Altatone! God, I'm so awesome! Now what? Who will want some? Like David Lee Roth said, who everybody wants some. Let's go. 
Your town is now built, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we have it. See, see, $24,000 already. Um, I mean, we haven't made that, but it's worth that much. Dude, I'm right here. Talk to me, please. It's you, my boy. Boy, hey, hey, you're not my dad. Don't, don't even take it there, man. There's what I was trying to do earlier, ladies and gentlemen. That one episode that it wasn't open yet, but now, now it's open, baby. Now we've got, well, now we've got something to do, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, ladies and gentlemen. Just so you know, we haven't even started this game yet. We are, we're practically still in the, the training. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, we, we have done some stuff, but, dude, there's still so much to it. So much stuff to do on screen. So many places to go. Dude, whenever we get to that one city that's, like, really big, that's, like, where you do... Oh, this place. Holy crap. This is the sanctuary. Really? It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory Looks of... Looks like the Temple of Fate, or, or the Chamber of Fate. Secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity. We're up to time, I didn't realize. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life. I know everything. This armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard well, rumors of here we go. throughout Italia. Hidden tombs filled with treasure. Yeah. These six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. They do. In my younger days, I sought these six myself. With no success. Huh. Perhaps you will have better luck. Well, you know, man, that's... I will. I promise. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Really? Well... Ladies and gentlemen, we can, uh, you cats can read that, uh, use a bone arrow to shoot Genghis Khan's horse. Oh, dang, he's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and check all these out, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can read this, pause the video, and read it. I'm just gonna go ahead and, that's pretty cool, though. All, all these backstories in there, it's freaking Altair. There's Altair, oh, dude, what's up, man? Dude, you're looking at me like from centuries apart. I'm your great, 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 great grandson or son or something of that. I don't know. Something of that effect. So. A woman assassin. Dude, why don't we start letting women in here? That's not right. I love women. You cats know that. But, um. That guy looks cool. He must have been a ladies' man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we have time for today. Four episodes down the drain, just like that. Or not down the drain, but four episodes carefully constructed with careful enunciation, pro pro pronounced pronunciation, and execution of words and actions and velocities and different ranges of vocal uh, stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Keep it real. I am going to go check out the local towns, see if there's any, th any other viewpoints that need to be gotten. You know what I mean? And then uh, I'll see you cats back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. I'll see you in less than 24 hours. Peace.